I'll bring you an update on my uh, RO station contraption I was building. Um, right now, we are making water. See here, we got our pressure up. Let's see if it'll focus. All right. So, if you remember, I had a solenoid that I was going to hook up to a uh, sprinkler box I got behind this wall here and uh, hook it up to the clock and um, float valve here. So basically what this float valve is going to do is when this water gets to the height of the float valve basically, um, this float valve is, or float switch, excuse me, is going to shut off the solenoid so the RO system completely stops making water. So it's a little different than some other ones, some other setups I've seen where um, water is just cut off to the supply water line. Um, which leaves the RO system still running and you're still dumping a ton of wastewater. Uh, this setup here allows me to shut the complete RO system off and I'll show you. What we'll do is we'll lift this float switch up and I'll show you up here the pressure will drop when I lift it up. So we'll do it right now. Three, two, one. There you go. And then I'll drop the float switch right now and the pressure will come back up, opening that solenoid again. So that's how that's working. Um, so yeah, got the float switch in here. I'm going to probably finish cutting this off just so I don't get it hung up on this little float switch. But, uh, no, it's not hitting it. But yeah, uh, that's how that works. I'll show you the, uh, the sprinkler solenoid and how I have it hooked up to the, uh, the, uh, sprinkler timer. Um, nothing really fancy, I guess, but just my take on doing this. All right, guys, so I'm taking you outside here to the solenoid. I'm going to be cleaning it up a little bit more, uh, just so it's not sticking so far outside of my circuit bank it is right now. Um, the plumbing parts I use is this little PVC adapter to go to a hose. I use the bushings with a one-inch um, threaded, and basically just got a one-inch to a three-quarter inch fitting to uh, screw the RO system into, and that's the uh, solenoid valve itself. Um, these wires coming off the solenoid, one runs into the wall to the float switch and makes a loop out of the float switch and goes into the number three spot. Uh, well, right now I'm showing the common wire, and that's number three coming from the float switch. The common wire is hooked directly up to the solenoid. So in here I'm just messing with the clock. I have it running on, on uh, three four-hour cycles for my 12 hours. Um, so whatever happens first, if the tank fills up first, the 12 hours comes on first. Um, it, either way, it's going to be shutting off the water. So there that is uh, there. Here's just kind of a far shot of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I'll be cleaning the wires up too a little bit more. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.